From yogis of ancient times to popular movies like Interstellar, there have been stories and some seemingly real instances about time travel. <coughs> Is time travel really possible? If yes, how can I make myself capable of time travel? <laughs> See, uh, these things have been misunderstood very badly because Science and mysticism is coming to you from Hollywood movies, unfortunately. In this culture, we've had people whom we refer to as trikalagnanis. There are three dimensions of experience in your life. There is something called as past, which is a bank of memory within you. There is something called as present, which is a living experience right now. There is something called as future, which is the power of our imagination. So your life experience is happening between memory, present experience and imagination. The problem with most people is, these three things are not clearly distinguished in most human beings. This is why, Something that happened ten years ago, you can still suffer, isn't it? Huh? Something that may happen day after tomorrow, you already suffer. <laughs> what happened ten years ago or even ten days ago, does it exist right now? Does it exist right now? No. What may happen day after tomorrow, does it exist right now? No. no. So if you suffer something, that does not exist, should we call you sane or insane? Hey, it's a question, don't clap, <laughs> it's a disgrace. If… if you are suffering something that does not exist, is it sanity or insanity? How many people that you know, including yourself, are insane like this? They suffer things which don't exist. Nearly ninety-nine point nine nine, isn't it? Happening all the time? So these are all idiots who are doing time travel <laughs> Time in the yogic sciences, modern physics always grapples with these two dimensions, time and space or space and time, that's how they refer to it. In yoga, we see… we call this kala. The word kala, even in Tamil, means time. But kala also means emptiness. Kala means darkness. Darkness means nothing is there, no light, no nothing, that is empty space. Kala means time. So we are using the same word for time and space. We just have a distinction called Kala and Mahakala. There is time which is caused by revolutions of physical dimensions of life. When I say revolutions of physical dimensions, everything that's physical is in a circular moment. Whether it's an atom or it's a whole cosmos, everything is in circular moment the planets, the universes, everything, everything that's physical essentially is in circular moment. So this is kala, the time that you know because of rotation of physical objects. If the planet spins once, we call it a day. If the moon goes around, we call it a month. If the planet goes around the sun, we call it a year. This is the only way you know time. So time that you know, is only by cycles. There is a time which is beyond physical nature, which is not because of circular motion of physical objects. This we call as Mahakala. Mahakala includes the space also. Generally in modern physics, the general understanding is because there is space, because there is distance, there is time. If you want to travel from point A to point B, you need time. But in the yogic sciences, from our experience, we see it like this, because there is time, 
there is a possibility of space. It's very beautifully put by Adiyogi, fifteen… over fifteen thousand years ago. When these seven sages, his first disciples asked him, what is the nature of this cosmos? Where does it begin? Where does it end? How big is it? He laughed and he said, your cosmos, I can pack it into your mustard seed. Very efficient packing, isn't it? He said, this entire cosmos, I can pack it into your mustard seed because it is only a consequence of time. The space and the distance is only a consequence of time. So we call people trikalagnanis and we also call people as akalagnanis. That means timeless people, people who are timeless. Timeless means what? You're sitting here right now, if I make you sit here for another six hours, no, it doesn't take that much for you. If I make you sit here for another two hours, Sadhguru, <laughs> at least… at least water <laughs> Okay, drink water. Drink water means Sadhguru, <laughs> that calls. Okay, go and come. Another two hours, Sadhguru. Okay, we give you that. After that, you don't ask permission. <laughs> Your body is cycles of time, isn't it? You don't have to look at the watch. If you observe your bladder, you know how much time? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> it's keeping time. So, your sense of time right now is only because of your physical identity. If you can sit here without any sense of body, then you don't know time. You've heard of people who sat for hours on end, days on end. I… this happened to me at a certain point when I was little older than you, I was twenty-five. I just sat in one place and suddenly I did not realize time, I thought it's ten, twenty minutes, about four and a half hours had passed and I was like blowing with ecstasy. Then this started happening more often. If I just sat in one place and I think it's two minutes, Hours, seven, eight hours have just passed away. One day I sat down and I thought it's maybe twenty-five, thirty minutes. I was sitting in a rural space around Mysore and uh, when I opened my eyes, the big crowd, India being what it is, the garlands around me, people are trying to molest my feet. <laughs> and I said, where the hell did you come from? Then they say, you've been sitting here for thirteen days. I thought it's only twenty-five, thirty minutes. Only when I tried to open my legs, I found my knees were locked up. It took lot of effort to straighten them. But in my experience, I thought it's only twenty-five, thirty minutes. But when I say this, this may be a little difficult to grasp. But have you noticed, on a particular day, you were very joyful. Twenty-four hours, poof, went off like ten minutes. Is that so? Yes. Another day you're a little depressed. <laughs> Twenty-four hours feels like a lifetime. Yes or no? Yes. Time is a very relative experience. People say, how long a minute is depends on which side of the bathroom door you are. <laughs> you go there and knock and they say, hey, just one minute, wait. <laughs> one minute. 